if we say, if we walk, if we know. Now we find these words in the first epistle of John. And most of you know, know the first, uh, first John as a, a book of love, which it certainly is. And because you, most people do know the things that they like, that's not what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the sin aspect that John brings up. And uh, I'm going to read some directly, and then we'll, have, have a, we'll talk about it a little bit. 1 John chapter 1, it says, If we say we have fellowship with him, with Jesus, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanses us from all sin. Now darkness is very simple. In Ephesus it talks about the darkness, the deeds, the evil deeds, all those things which are evil. All those things which God has called sin is walking in the darkness. Are you walking in darkness, but you say you know the Lord? That's something to think about. Let's, let's, let's proceed on right now. Now this is 1 John chapter 2, uh, verse 1. My little children, these things I write unto you, that you sin not. But if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Now verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Now listen to that. If you keep God's word, the love of God or for God is perfected. Hereby we know that we are in him, if we keep his word. Now verse 6. He that says he abides in him ought himself to walk even as he walked, or Jesus walked. Brethren, this is verse 7. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. So, the love of God is to keep God's word and obey his commandments. But if we sin, the Bible says, we do have an advocate with the Father. Someone, we have Jesus Christ. He paid the price for our sin on the cross. That is the love of God revealed on the cross. And let's continue on for a moment. 1 John chapter 3. And everyone that has this hope in himself purifies himself, even as he is pure, Jesus is pure. Whoever commits sin transgresses also the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. And we know that he, or Jesus, was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whoever abides in him sins not. Whoever sins hath not seen him, neither known him. Now we'll come back to that. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sin, sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this, little children, in this rather, the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Whoever does not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. Let's think about that a minute. That's some strong words there, wasn't it? Now John already told us that if we do sin, that we have an advocate with the Father. But here he says, if, if we sinneth, then we don't know God. Now that's important. See, the apostle John, as well as everyone in the Scripture, knew that there was never be sinless perfection in us in this life. But the fact that we will commit sin from time to time is no license for us to walk in rebellion to God. Now there is a difference. In your best day, you may do you may do something wrong, and that evening you you will recognize it. Maybe you didn't at first, but then you'll recognize it. You, you'll repent. All right, sometime you will repent. But if every day of your life you're walking in rebellion to God, if you're walking in rebellion every day, then that's the problem. That's where John is saying you don't know God, because. See, God's seed is in us, and we cannot sin. He says that. 
Now, again, understanding the Scripture. It's not saying that you will never mess up, because John had already said, if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. He said, little children, you know, he doesn't want us to sin. We are not to sin, but we do fail. If we could be perfect, literally perfect, then Jesus would not have had to die on the cross, because we could have fulfilled the law ourselves. So the question is, are we sinless? No. Do we, do we mess up in, in the form of sin? Yes, we do. Do we abide in sin? No, we should not. We should not live in sin. Of course, some of those, of that which we call the church, have made an art form of it. Now, these are, in this day and time, what we are seeing are two things I think the most, the most uh, troublesome. Is that we are seeing that which has been around for a long time, in, in the form of do, uh, divorce for no for, for any reason, which that means if you have left your husband or wife just because you wanted someone else, just because you weren't happy with the, the situation, you know maybe things weren't going as well as you thought, and, that's, and, 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 and for that reason only, you divorced your husband or your wife, you're walking in open rebellious sin. And if you are someone who is a homosexual and you also want to add this other uh, problem of, of uh, marriage, then you're walking in open defiant sin. Either way, just, just homosexuality, period, is sin. But now, if you are a person who says, I know the Lord, but you, you will support, give aid and comfort to someone who is a homosexual, and also to support their, their, their wanting to marry someone in a legal way, then you are rebe- walking in open rebellion to God. There's no two ways about it. Of course, that's, that's not the only sin. Obviously, that's not the only sin that's in the world. But right now, we see those things, at least the homosexual marriage, marriage uh, is front and center. Of course, what's next? What's next? Uh, incest? Uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's growing. It's growing. But anyway, I won't spend a lot of time on that. But if you're walking in open rebellion to God, and there's things that you will not repent of because you will not believe God, if you do not believe God, if you're calling God a liar, if you, if you support divorce for any cause, as I described it, if you, just, if you uh, support homosexuality, as, I, or as the Bible describes it, in both cases, as the Bible describes it, then you're walking in open rebellion to God. The Scripture would say that you do not go God. Now, if this is the first time you've ever heard anyone preach to you, and you repent, that's a good sign that you know the Lord. That's a good sign. If, if your heart, if you've been cut to the heart and repent. Let's go on just a few more verses. John chapter 5. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep His commandments. For this is the love of God. Now this is repeated. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments and His commandments are not grievous. Now uh, verse 18. We know that whoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one touches him not. Now, to obey God is showing love for God. It's not some touchy feeling emotion, but to obey God is showing love for God. And God, if you know God, God's seed is in you. And again, this sin is not. He obviously, they knew that you would never be perfect. That's why John said, if we do sin, we have an advocate with the Father. But if you walk in open rebellion, sin open rebellious sin every day of your life and you will not hear the word of God. Whatever, you know, I didn't I don't try to list all all of that which is sin in the Bible. You can read the Bible and know it for yourself. But if you walk in uh, with sex outside of marriage, if you're if you're just dating someone, you say you know the Lord and you're dating someone and having sex with them, you're walking in you're walking in sin. If you have a girlfriend and you have a baby by them and you won't marry that woman and you refer to her as your girlfriend or I, personally, that I, I just oh, I really hate to hear that. That just I don't know. That just does something to me when I see a, a man who will have sex with a, girl, a, a woman and have a baby with him and then won't marry him. If you're walking that way, the Bible says you don't know God. You don't know Him. Now, what do you think about that? <laughs>